Hello fellow crafters. I am in a swap again this month for the month of June. It's the Secret Squirrel um, cigar box swap and our theme this month was sewing retro and you also had to make a pin cushion to go with your box. I got a box at um, Michael's. It's one of the bigger boxes. It's not wood. It's a heavy-duty chipboard box. It's one of the ones you can buy to store stuff in. And it has a little magnet closure here. So I used the Melody Ross paper line to um, cover my box with. And it has kind of a retro look here. Let's see if I adjust it. It has a little bit of a retro look here. This is one sheet here that I put on here and I wanted to give it a look of because this is, looks like pattern paper it, uh, in the background I wanted to give it to, a look that looks like someone was in the middle of sewing something so this is what I did I had this old vintage um, snap package that I've had for years it was in my grandmother's um, sewing box um, and this as well, this is an old vintage um, spool of thread. It actually has the original things on the end. And I unspooled it a little bit and you can, you probably can't see in the camera, but it's darker here and lighter here where the color had faded because it is old. The scissors and the thimble um, came in a dollar, from the dollar store in a little kit. I wanted to, um, the, I wanted the little ones because I wanted to put it on here. And I've got the scissors cutting the material and actually did sew this material. This is, uh, you'll see inside, I made a pin cushion from this material. This needle um, um, threader and the sewing gauge, I cut it in half and just tucked it back here. I used some very old vintage um, hand uh, made lace on here. And, and then I cut out a dress form. Let me try to get a little close for you. I cut out a dress form with my Cricut and put a little one here with the paper line as well. I'm sorry the lighting's not so well. This is like the fourth time that I've had to do this video. And it's dark out now. I have this covered right now. This is um, covered because that's the name of the person it's going to. This is a felt flower that I made in some burlap leaves. And I covered all sides with the paper and um, the bottom, real pretty. And also used the trim all on the edges. Now on the inside, I made a um, pin cushion for my secret squirrel to um, put her pins in and this trim underneath is a um, pink satin pay, um, material and then this was some sheer ribbon that I got from Rosella thank you Rosella she is Xander Lee on YouTube she sells trims so go check her out every once in a while she'll put up a video selling her trims and I just tucked some of these little sewing retro um, authorization tags that I got in a um, package from Crafty Secrets. And I just cut out a bunch of them and tucked them in there. And then there's a few pins that I stuck in there. And I also made her a pin cushion that, this is not the one that you're supposed to make, this is just an extra. When I was in high school, we made these, and it, they're nice because the one that I still have, I've had since high school, and I use it every time I sew. Whenever you pin down a pattern and you're, you're, you cut it out and you're ready to take the um, pins out, this is nice because you can just, you know, as you're taking them out, put them in there. So I threw, I made one of those for a little extra. I did the inside of the box if you can see that and then also put some trim in the corners so it is finished completely 
Well, the cards are falling out. Now I'm going to show you the um, pin cushion. Let's see if I can move the no, the tripod won't move. The pin cushion is made. It's um, I made it with a spool that I had from the trim that I used on the box. I covered it with paper, felt, and trim, some pearls. Um, I also put some um, some thread around it to give it the look of a spool. Um, here's a, a little piece of trim that I got from Juliana. Hi Juliana. And some flowers that I have. I think these are from Carlos Etsy store and these here. Um, this is Prima and this is some that I had. And I got this little teapot and teacup from Amy, Worker Forever123 on YouTube. Hi Amy, thank you. Um, I thought they matched it really nice. And then there's another little flower there. And then there's some flowers up here. Um, the bottom's personalized. I put a little bling here just to have a little something dangling from it. And now inside of it, I'm sending it in two parts so that it'll fit in the box. So my secret squirrel's watching this. When you get it, all you got to do is just stick it in there, okay? Um, you can probably squeeze some um, Elmer's glue or something down in there, any kind of white glue, and then shove this down in there and it'll stay for you. But for shipping purposes, I, I took it, I'm taking it out. I used um, burlap and traced out a dress form that I have in chipboard and then I traced it onto paper and then pinned it onto the burlap and cut it out and then sewed all around the edges. Stuffed it, left an opening at the bottom. I think I did a, um, a video showing you how I made these. Um, and then I put the stick in after I stuffed her and this is some more of that trim that I got from Rosella and then there's a little satin rose. I put a little pearl necklace on her and a little charm hanging from it just to add a little character to her. There's a little satin um, bow in the back with a little pearl just to hide um, where I glued it on. But that's my pin cushion. Like I said it just slides right back in there. And um, that's for my secret squirrel. I hope she likes it. Um, I did some special attention to this box. Like I said, I was trying to go for the look of, you know, the sewing retro. So I hope this is um, accurate to what everybody else has been doing. And thanks for watching. And please leave uh, a comment. I appreciate them. They are um, appreciated very much. I know I haven't mentioned much about my comments. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, watching my videos and um, leaving comments and if you like this please leave um, hit the like button and not very many people do that much I mean I know I do so thanks for watching and have a good evening bye now